in this tutorial we will create this drawing this drawing and this drawing let's start with this drawing if you are interested in previous set of tutorials complete playlist is given in the description now this drawing is in mm therefore we will use a cad iso template scroll down and select a cad iso dot dwt then i will just show you what is my unit setting type un for units enter here i will be using len type as decimal precision is 4 digit angle type is decimal degrees precision is 0 digits and insertion scale is millimeter so i will not make any changes click on ok now in this drawing at first we will create these circles of 25 30 70 20 and 40 diameters now we have to use circle commands multiple times therefore to repeat it automatically you can use multiple command for multiple type mu enter then here you will have to enter command name to repeat so i want to repeat circle so for circle i will type c then press enter then specify center point for circle then click on diameter then give diameter of 70 enter then zoom this circle then again specify center now it is not showing center point of circle to show the center point you will have to take your cursor on the circle then only it will show the center point then click on the center point then click on diameter then specify the diameter of 25 enter then again specify center point diameter then this second circle is actually the circle for this chamfer that means the diameter of this second circle will be 70 minus 4 one chamfer on this side and one chamfer on this side that means it will be 66 give the diameter of 66 enter then again specify center point click on diameter then 30 20 and 40 give the diameter of 20 enter give the center point diameter give the diameter of 30 enter again center point diameter give the diameter of 40 enter we will just pan it so all the circles has been created then next is to create this section view at first we will create this line now length of this line will be 70 minus 15 that is 55 pan it take your cursor to the center and take it away so it will track it for tracking to work you will need to have this object snap tracking on and this object snap also need to be on then only it will work properly then take your cursor here click there ok the circle command is still running so to cancel the circle command you will have to press escape then we want to create a line click on line then take your cursor to the center take it away then click here then for straight line make ortho on then length of this line will be the radius of this circle so take your cursor to this quadrant point and take it away so it will track that point click there then take your cursor on this side and give the length of 55 enter then take your cursor to this circle's quadrant and take it away so it will track it click there take your cursor on this side give the length of 15 enter then take your cursor below to this end point and track it and click and press enter then enter then take your cursor to this internal circle then take your cursor to this actually it is showing the midpoint now midpoint is also correct because 
internal circle diameter is 20 that means this distance will be 10 and this is 40 that means this distance will be 20 so this point will be at the midpoint of this vertical line then length of this line will be 70 minus 35 that is 35 so click on this midpoint take your cursor away give the length of 35 enter then take your cursor to the second circle and track it and click then take your cursor on this side give the length of 30 enter then take your cursor to this third circle and take it away now it is tracking it click there now it is taking the midpoint object snap i don't want midpoint take your cursor to midpoint and take it below so it will track that point and click so it will create horizontal line then press enter so here internal layout is also ready we will just extend these lines for that we will create this horizontal line click on line then take your cursor to this quadrant and take it outside and click then click here enter enter then take your cursor to this end point and take it outside click then click press enter then zoom it then to extend take your cursor to this arrow near the trim and click on extend then press enter then click on these lines on lower side then press enter then here we need chamfer of two size for that click on this arrow and click on chamfer then click on distance and specify first chamfer distance as 2 enter and second chamfer distance will also be 2 just press enter to accept the default value then we want to chamfer multiple times therefore click on this multiple option then select this line this line this line this line this line and this line and press enter then here is a fillet of radius 5 for that click here and select fillet click on radius give the radius of 5 enter and select this line select this line then we want same on the opposite side we will mirror it for that click on mirror then select all this object for that we will use crossing window click on the right side in empty space and take your cursor on the left side then click enter then first point of mirror line will be this end point click there take your cursor on this right side and click and erase source object no so this object is ready then we need to create hatch for that click on hatch then select nc31 as a pattern then click inside this shape then reduce the scale we will choose 0.5 enter then here hatch direction is opposite for that we will change the angle to 90 press enter and click on close hatch creation so this hatch is also created then next is to apply the layers for that click on layers then at first we will give some color to zero layer click on white and suppose i will choose this one okay then i will change line weight to suppose this 0.35 okay then to create new layer click on new layer then we will name it as hidden then click on this color choose some color okay then click on continuous click on load then scroll it down and click on hidden to okay select hidden to okay then i don't want line weight click here and choose default okay then again click on new layer and we will name it as center then choose color 
suppose I want this one ok then click on hidden to click on load scroll it down and we will choose this center to ok click on center to ok then we will create one more layer for hatch type hatch then choose the color suppose I will choose this one ok then here I want continuous line click here and click on continuous ok then close this dialog box then choose these lines click here and select center press escape then choose these two circles click here and click on hidden press escape then select this hatch click on properties click here and click on hatch and click then I want one vertical center line for that make center layer current click on line take your cursor to quadrant take it away click take it below and click and escape to watch the thickness click here on show headline width so it will show the thickness so in this way this drawing is ready then next is this one to start new drawing you can click here on the plus sign or if you don't have this plus sign click on new and choose ACAD ISO and open so in this drawing at first we will create this line of 30 length and 145 length click on line click first point make ortho on take your cursor away give the length of 30 enter then give the length of 145 enter and enter then zoom it then here we will create circle of 12 then 22 and 10 then again we want to use circle multiple times therefore we will use multiple command enter then type C for circle enter and give the center point give the radius of 12 enter then take your cursor here on the end point click there give the radius of 22 enter then take your cursor on this end point click there give the radius of 10 enter then to cancel multiple command press escape then this arc of radius 62 so this arc is touching these two circles therefore we will use 10 10 radius option click on this arrow select 10 10 radius then specify one point on this side and other point on this side then give the radius of 62 enter then we need to create these lines so these lines are actually passing through this point so click on line click on this end point then press shift and right click and select tangent and click on this circle enter then here we want fillet of 15 radius click on fillet click on radius use the radius of 15 enter and select this circle and this line then we will have to trim unwanted objects before that click on this line click on this blue grip then take it outside and click then click on this line click on this blue grip take it outside and click and press escape then click on trim click on this arrow and select trim then press enter and remove the unwanted objects and press enter then we need same shape on the opposite side for that click on mirror then select this shape enter then this end point will be the first point of mirror line click there take your cursor on the right side and click and click on no then to apply the layers and colors at first what we will do we will join this line to create single line click on modify click on join 
and select these two lines enter escape then we want this line to be center line for that we will use the layer we have created in drawing one to use that layer type dc for design center enter then click on open drawings then click on layers layer in the drawing one then select the center just click and hold and drag it and release and close this dialog box then select this line click here and click on center press escape then click here click on this white box and choose color this drawing is also ready then next is this one now this drawing is in inches so we will be using a cat.dwt as template click on new then select a cat.dwt open to check the units type un enter so here all the settings are same only insertion scale is changed to inches click on ok now in this drawing at first we will create this vertical line of 24 length click on line click first point make ortho on take your cursor below give the length of 24 enter enter then zoom minus pan it above then to shift this UCS icon type UCS icon press enter and click on no origin then we will create these circles of 8 12.5 4 and 7.5 diameters for that again type multiple m u enter type c for circle enter then give the center point pan it above click on diameter give the diameter of 12.5 enter then click on the center point give the radius of 4 that is 8 diameter enter then click on this end point then give the radius of 2 enter then again click on this end point click on diameter give the diameter of 7.5 enter and press escape then to create these lines we need to create these lines now this line is at angle of 150 and this line is also at angle of 150 click on line zoom there take your cursor to this end point make ortho off then the length will be radius of this circle so type 3.75 then press tab to specify the angle as this total angle is 150 that means this angle will be 150 minus this 90 that is 60 so give here angle of 60 enter and enter then same way we need to create line below what we can do we can also mirror this line click on mirror select this line enter then first point of mirror line will be the midpoint of this line click there take your cursor on the right side ensure that this line is straight click and click on no then we need to extend it up to this circle for that click here and select extend press enter click on this line and again click on this line press enter so reference lines are ready then click on line click on this end point and this end point and press enter then there is fillet of now here i forgot to specify the fillet but the fillet is 4 inches so click on fillet click on radius give the fillet of 4 enter click on multiple click on this line click on this circle again click on this line click on this circle press enter 
then we want same on the opposite side for that click on mirror select all these objects press enter then first point of mirror line will be this end point click there make ortho on take your cursor below and click and click on no so this view is ready then next is to create this section view now this width is 2 inch and this is 3 inches zoom here click on line take your cursor to this quadrant point take it away and click then take it on the right side give the width of 3 enter then take your cursor to this quadrant take it away click then this is 2 this is 3 that means this gap will be 3 minus 2 divided by 2 that is 0 0.5 so take it on this side give the gap of 0 0.5 enter zoom minus then take your cursor to this quadrant take it away click again give the length of 0 0.5 enter take your cursor on this quadrant hold for some time take it away click then take on this side give the width of 3 enter enter then press enter take your cursor to this midpoint take it outside click take it below and click and enter then we will mirror these objects click on mirror select these objects using crossing window enter first point of mirror line will be this end point take your cursor below click and click on no then internal lines for that again click on line take your cursor to this quadrant then click here then take your cursor to this end point so that we can track it take it below and click then press enter enter take your cursor to this quadrant click take your cursor to this end point take it above click enter enter same procedure needs to be repeated here take your cursor to this end point take it below click enter enter then track this quadrant click track this end point click enter then next is to create the hatch for that click on hatch and click inside these shapes then increase the scale to suppose 3 enter or we will need little bit more we will make it 5 enter or we will make it 4 ok and the hash direction is same then click on close hash creation then to apply the layer type DC for design center press enter then click on layers for multiple selection press control and select center hatch and hidden then release the control press first mouse button and drag it and release here then close this dialog box then select these lines click here and make them center escape then select these lines and click here and select hidden and escape then the hidden line and center line is not properly visible for that we will have to reduce the line type scale type LTS enter and we will give 0.1 as a scale factor press enter now 0.1 seems to be very small we will increase it type LTS make it 0.3 enter and escape then click on this line click on this blue grip take it above and click same way here click on blue grip take it below and click and press escape then we need some more center lines click on line take your cursor to this quadrant take it outside click click enter make center layer current click on line then 
take your cursor to this midpoint take it outside click click enter and same way below enter take your cursor to quadrant take it outside click take on right side click enter enter then track this endpoint click click enter for these white lines we will give some color click on this box here suppose we will choose this one ok then select hatch click here on properties click here and click on hatch press escape now these center lines are not properly visible to change the line type scale of these two center lines type PR for properties press enter then select these two center lines and we will reduce the scale factor suppose we will make it 0.5 then press escape now those are visible then select this line click here and make it center press escape then close this dialog box then we need these reference lines for that we will just create these lines make hidden layer current click on line click on this end point and this end point enter same way below enter this end point and this end point enter then we will mirror it click on mirror select this line this line enter and select this quadrant as a first point take your cursor below click enter so this drawing is also ready in the next lecture we will learn next set of commands then we will solve some more exercises and we will also continue our series on civil interior electrical tutorials so thanks for watching we will stop here